Glaciers like these in the Himalayas and the Hindu Kush mountains, which store the most ice in the world outside the Arctic and the Antarctic. Scientists say they are melting, and here's what might happen. They could threaten your home and livelihood, depending on where you live. If you live in any of uh, these areas, now on this map, these are the bluish green, which show the Hindu Kush Himalaya region. And additionally, in uh, this area, that's the shading in yellow, which shows the areas covered by 10 major river basins. You could be at risk of flooding, electricity shortages, and food insecurity. In some of these areas, these events could peak in the next 30 years. This dire warning is part of a new study released by the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development. It claims that one third of these glaciers will melt by the end of the century, even if current efforts to reduce climate change succeed. And if they fail, they will melt by two thirds. At risk is the livelihood and security of nearly two billion people. For more, we are joined by Dr. David Molden, Director General of the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development in Kathmandu in Nepal. Now, this is the organization that released this report. Dr. Molden, good to see you and good to have you with us. Uh, for our viewers in India, Myanmar, Bangladesh and other countries in the region, what does this report mean? You know, this uh, report is the first time that we've really painted a, a complete picture of what's happening in our great uh, Himalaya mountain. And the picture is quite concerning. Yes, we have glaciers, but in addition to that, we have more impacts of climate change. For example, monsoon patterns changing, uh, higher temperatures, and this will impact agricultural systems, river systems, where about 2 billion people live downstream, uh, and, and all the businesses in them, the drinking water system. So it is, it, is a, it is of great concern. And what it means is that we have to act fast to deal with this. But then your report also says that even if the world met its targets set in the Paris uh, Climate Action Report, even if those targets were met, the glaciers would still melt by one third. Therefore, is it game over already? That's correct. So it's, it's a rather scary scenario. We'll lose one third of our glaciers, basically. That's what it's telling us. But if we can hold the line to one third of the glaciers, I believe we'll figure out how to adapt and deal with it. The frightening part is if we don't do anything with climate change and the emission trends continue, we'll lose, two, we'll lose two thirds of the glaciers and think about all the impacts on people, on the environment and agricultural systems as well. That will be the hit that will be extremely difficult to handle. Also think about disasters uh, in the region, floods and droughts. But then wouldn't those disasters happen in any case, even if the glaciers melted by one third as well? That, yes, so we definitely, even with a melt of one third, what we have to do is act quickly, right? We have to figure out how to adapt, how to get, for example, flood early warning systems in place, how to change agricultural systems. Uh, I believe that we can do that in that one, with, with the 1.5 degree world scenario with the 1.5 uh, uh, or the one third glacier melt. It's just when we go on that, where we're really stretching the limits of how far people can adapt. So it is important that we hold the line on climate change for the mountain people. Are you really optimistic that that line will be held, that the world will get together and keep temperature increase below 1.5 degrees? Look, I, I, I think that 1.5 degrees is going to be really, really tough, uh, but we cannot go the business as usual scenario emitting at the same rate we're going. It's just going to be a, a disaster for people in this region. So the message combined with everything else, we have to act quickly on climate change for the mountains. And hopefully and that give us a little more time. Hopefully that message is received in time. Dr. David Molden, Director General of the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development in Kathmandu. Thank you very much for speaking to us.